Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video about Mistral. I wanted to show you guys how this company has been able to produce the fastest chat experience in AI currently. We'll look at that in a second, but first I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Mistral. So basically a company from France, building models for a while now. Some of the best open source models. These guys were one of the ones that were creating open source models from the very beginning. At this point, at least from what I understand, is they have introduced their chat platform, which is called LayChat, from where you can essentially use Mistral's model just like you would with any other AI, like ChatGPT, you would be able to chat with their models. And also they have something called La Platform, which is their platform for creating AI agents and stuff like that. We're going to walk through the LayChat first, but I wanted to show you a really cool use case for using the platform here as well. So, and also I want to show you the pricing. So for most things, you can do the zero dollar plan you'll get pretty much everything that you would get in any other ai models for example but also you get this flash answers which are basically what makes it right now like the fastest output model available because what they use is their you know high performance servers to quickly process and give you the information so we'll obviously see it in action it's really nice that they have a student plan as well and, you know, for that, you get no limits on pretty much most things. And so that's that, right? So let's jump into the lay chat. So in order to do that, you would go to products and then lay chat. And then once you're here, you would want to go try lay chat here, right? So once you click here, you'd be asked to sign up for an account and then log in just like any other application. And then you'd basically land on this page, which is their chat platform. Here you have the sidebar on the left where you can start a new chat. Obviously you have the upgrade button. You can search for chats and you have all your chats here. And this is basically where you would chat from. Now, if you want to access the super fast feature that they have, which is called flash answers, you would want to go here, enable it right here. Once you have that turned on, type in whatever question you have. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. So it took about two seconds and then pretty much came up with the whole blog article. So when you use ChatGPT, Claude, or any other AI, you'll see that the output comes letter by letter. So that's called a streaming response. You would see it start streaming from here and then step by step output every single letter and eventually it'll get to the end and it'll take at least 20 seconds or whatever. But in this case, it basically just pre-processed it for a few seconds and just immediately came up with the output. So here you can see if I hover over here, it says flash answers. This message was generated using our most powerful servers. I'm just going to try it one more time. I'm just going to say revise this and make it longer and hit send. So as you can see right now, it's streaming it. So this is it being streamed, just like how you would normally see AI with ChatGPT or Claude or any other AI that you would use. So this is clearly taking a, a fairly long time. And at this point, as you can see, it didn't use the flash answers. So this is what I wanted to show you. So the flash answers is only for the first time you chat with it. Obviously, they're not going to use their most powerful servers for every single chat or recurring chats. If you want a quick answer for something, it's going to give you the answers right away. But then if you want to keep chatting with it, it's going to use their normal servers to come up with the output just like with any other AI. Now, along with this, you that you can upload files here if you want. You also have access to Canvas. This is the same as what ChatGPT has. You have web search, you have image generation, code interpreter. You can have all of these turned on while you're chatting with it. So to show these, let me open up a new chat. So here I'm going to use the Canvas and I'm going to say I write a blog article on AI agent. This is how the Canvas works. You basically have this whole doc style output where you have the whole article and then you can use this chat to just kind of incrementally improve it, add things to it. You could select a section and then basically ask it questions or you can ask it to analyze, proofread, summarize, more bullet points, fewer bullet points. There's a bunch of things you can do directly from here or you can just, like I said, use the chat as well. This is very similar to what ChatGPT has. So I'll move on to the next one, which is basically using the web search. So what are some of the AI news from today? That's the result it came up with. You can click here to see all the sources here. So it shows you how many seconds it worked on. It also showed you the steps it took. Just letting you know, these are not using the flash answers. This is just streaming like how you would with any other AI. So for the image generation, I'm just using a burger in space. Not bad, but the best part is it took three seconds to generate this image. So that's pretty good. So, you know, feel free to use this. Okay, so now for the code interpreter. Now, the thing about Mistral is it doesn't really have a Claude or a Quen type of code interpreter where you'd be able to like play any code. 
And that's what code interpreter basically means. They will generate the code and then can sort of like play itself in an environment and then just give you the output as well. But what it can do is it can use Python and it can use very basic things like, you know, generate visualization from data and stuff like that. So just to show you how it works, I'm just going to say generate some sample data and visualize it using Python. So there you have it. As you can see, it generated some data in the background and then plot and visualized it. So if you want to see the code, you can click here and then that would sort of let you see the code that went into making that. So far, as you can see, this is a very simple AI, does pretty much what any other AI would do, except this has the flash answer. But again, the novelty will wear off. Now, why I think this is still a really good product? Because of this. So remember in the beginning, we talked about the two products they have. One is the late chat and the platform. So if you were to click here, you'd basically see this is more of a development framework where you can fine tune models, create agents, and a bunch of other things like function calling and stuff like that. And then you can use that with an API within your products and services. However, there's an interesting way you can use this within late chat as well. And I wanted to show you that. So if you go here and if you click click on start building, it would then bring you to the platform page. As you can see on top, you have the platform and you also have the chat. So like I said, there's a bunch of things you can do here. Obviously the top two are like create an agent and then fine tune a model. Also have access to retrieval augmented generation, function calling, ways of deploying it directly through an API, embeddings, a uh, bunch of other things. But again, that's not why we're here. If you click here on agents, you'll be brought onto the agent page. And the interesting thing is, you can create an agent by clicking here. In your create an agent page, you can choose any of the models that they have. Let's say we go with the codestral one, which is a specific one for code. And then you can play around with the temperature, which controls the randomness. You can uh, put some system instructions here. You can also add a lot of demonstrations, which are a few short prompts, basically examples like inputs and outputs, and then set up your agent in this way. Right over here, you can name the agent. I'll go ahead and name it Top Notch Engineer. If you have all of it set up, you can hit deploy. After deploying, you'll see that there is an option called API and lay chat. API is basically the fact that you can use the agent through an API. But if you turn this on, it'll ask you the deploy agent to lay chat and you could hit deploy. Now you can go back to LayChat, and then you could call that agent right from here by using the at symbol. Now this I think is pretty interesting because now you can have multiple agents built out and you can be in the middle of any chat and then call one of your specific agents to come and look at some kind of a problem, right? As you can see, now this is hard plugged in here and then you can just ask any question to that top-notch engineer agent. I think this is a really interesting use case because this is very much like creating your own GPT in ChatGPT or Claude projects. But I feel like the possibilities are a little more expanded here because the way you can fine tune that model. So if I were to go back to the platform, you'll see that there is a data sets part where you can upload data sets that you have that has information say about your company or your notes and stuff like that. And then you can click here and then create a model that's fine tuned on that information. And then you can create an agent on that specific model as you can choose the model that goes into that agent. So you can fine tune these mistral models, which then can go into your agent, which you can bring into the lay chat by using that at symbol. And I think that is a huge game changer for non techies to use AI with advanced functions. Now, obviously, that is going to be a tutorial in itself, a separate video. However, I just wanted to show you that this feature is there. For, so some of you who already understand how to work with these kind of things, go ahead and try it out and let me know what you create in the comments below. So that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope you found it useful. If you did, we we'll really appreciate you liking the video and subscribe for more content like this. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.